Hey guys, so I've uh, been building a mystery box. You guys are probably wondering what that is. Got lights, they're double side taped in. Just throw this on. Uh, it's actually out of my old blazer. Tail lights on my old blazer. Okay, so these wires are all, all the positives are connected together. Uh, then I'm going to run a wire out into this cool Bix block thing and uh, yeah which runs up to switches and there you go two switches switch over there and uh, that's uh, banana plugs female banana plugs so uh, yeah basically this is going to be a mystery discharger um, I tested the amps between these three bulbs. It's roughly five amps, five and a half amps. I'll get a better reading when I charge my light post to full. And uh, yeah, so I'm not gonna give too much of this away because uh, when it's done, I want to make a better video. But this is done with the Black and Decker tin can, and yeah, so. Like I said, once I get more wiring done and everything almost good to go, I'll run you through it and show you how it wires. First test of the new uh, discharge box. Okay, so I put a power switch in that corner. Uh, I've only set up one switch at 5 amps, 5 amp discharge. Got the plugs all in. Okay, uh, just using some cheesy, uh, cheesy batteries, and I also added a fan so it could cool down the light bulbs. So, flex the power switch. Fan comes on. Hit the five amp switch. Light, come on. Alright, yeah. show you with some lights off. Turn the. Is that not sweet? So, uh. Yeah. Flick that back on. Flick the switch off. Flick the power off. These batteries are a little bit low, they're already down to like 7.2 volts, so they're not quite pulling. 5 amps, but I'll show you here. Okay, so there we go, you guys got a clear view. Okay, make sure I can back that off a little bit. Okay, and uh, I'll just go like this, go like that. Okay, so I'll flick the power switch. Oh, that's why I got that wrong. Let me just move that. Okay, so there's the power switch using 0.14 amps. So that's like a hundred, 140 MA. Yeah, that sounds right. Then we kick our 5 amp switch on. Oh, not bad, eh? 5.03 Like I said, these batteries are a little bit on the low side, so it's not gonna do great, but it's getting 5 amps off the one switch, so it's doing pretty good. I flick the 5 amp off. Flick the power off. And there you go. So I have a discharge box made. Mystery box. It's uh, all just steel case, black and decker case, some switches, and some wires. Um, okay, so what I want to do here, and uh, from Hobby King, I ordered a Turner G1000. Uh, just show you what we got here. That's a little 
upside down. Ugh, trying to find a good place for it. There we go. There you go, just so you can see what it says. Okay. Now, uh, yeah. Back to uh, the mystery box. So, what I got here is I got a power switch. Then, uh, if you look above, it's got 5 amp, 4 amp, 2 amp. So, uh, let's push it, push the switch to 5. As you see, box lights up. And, uh, on the meter here, 5.3 amps, not bad, 791 volts, okay, so let's say uh, I want to pull a little bit more amperage, click it on 4, click the 4 on 2, so there we go, pulling 8.14 amps, should be 9, but uh, yeah, it's just not doing it right now. I think it's because the battery already had like 800 MA out of it. Anyways, and I also got a light hooked up to it. There you go, see, spotlight. And when I turn that on, that gives me 12. Uh, if there's enough power, it will usually give me 17. But, uh, anyways, that's that. And when the batteries get low enough, I'll turn it to 2 amp. And 2 amps pulling 1.7 right now. Uh, usually I do that once uh, 9 amps comes down to, uh, uh, once a 9 amp brings the battery down to 6.8, I usually start dropping amps to keep it at 6.8. And then uh, once I get to 2 amp spot, I get down to 6.8 volts. Then I'll shut it completely off, like that, to the off position. And I'll leave the power on, because it only pulls uh, 0 0.08, so that's like 80 MA. So I'll do that, and uh, yeah. Bring it down to 6.8. Once it hits 6.8, I usually bring out my good old balancer. Just check all the cells, make sure everything's balanced. And once everything's balanced, uh, if I'm leaving it for a couple days, I'll do that. Or I'll recharge it on the charger that's over here. But, uh, let's take a little look into the mystery box. Let me just unplug the power here. Unplug those. Okay, so here's how I built it. I got uh, three light bulbs there. That's how I do my 5 amp pull. Got two lights there. That's how I do my 4 amp pull. Got one light there. That's how I do my 2 amp pull. And, uh... All the wiring's wired up. Let me just pull this out of my way, guys. Uh, there we go. So yeah, there's the fan that comes on when I flick that power switch on. So, uh... Yeah, basically, the way I got it set up is you plug the batteries in. They run down here to this main power switch. The main power switch runs over to the two switches and the two switches run down to this big giant electric box thing for connecting wires. Not sure what it would be called. If it was a phone thing it would be called a Bix block but it's not. And uh, yeah from there it runs to all my lights and stuff. And as for the yellow light I just have the wire running through the side because it's just temporary. Um, but yes, yeah, so there's my mystery box. As you can see, still wire shavings in it. And I still have one more, one more switch to do. 
close that. It's right here. This is going to be a 1 amp. Then if I ever need to pull like just 500, well say 400 MA, I got that. My discharger slash balancer. But anyways guys, in that time that I was running, uh, the discharger, I was able to pull 195 MA. Uh, AP, da da da. Got a feeling it would pull more amps. If I didn't have such a long wire connected, because the wire is taking up some.